What's going on everybody? I'm Eleven, and welcome to Wraith Squad Ship Briefing. We are down in the Hollow Suite, and today we will be talking about the Aegis Dynamics Gladius Valiant. This briefing will cover ship specs, avionics, ordnance, and components. We will also get to view some flight recordings to show the Gladius in action. Aegis Dynamics is a spaceship manufacturing company with a long and storied history of distinguished service in support of the UEE war machine and the private sector. The Gladius platform is an older design, which has been updated over the years to keep up with modern technology. In military circles, the Gladius is beloved for its performance and its simplicity. A fast light fighter, the Gladius is an ideal interceptor or escort ship. The Gladius has two other variants, the Gladius Pirate and the Gladius Valiant. The hologram we are looking at is the Aegis Gladius Valiant, created as part of the Masters of Flight series in conjunction with the Flight Sim Arena Commander. The Valiant pays tribute to the famed defense pilot, Condi Hiller, for being the first human on record to defeat a Van Duel in combat. This Gladius comes equipped with a specialized loadout focused on dogfighting and a custom special edition livery, honoring her iconic ship. Now let's head over to Wraith Squad's hangar to take an in-person look at the Gladius Valiant and get in depth with ordnance and components. The Gladius platform has two main thrusters, two retro thrusters, and eight maneuvering thrusters. An SEM speed of 208 meters per second and a top speed of 1236 meters per second. Keep in mind that depending on the gravitational pull of a moon or planet, speed and performance will be affected. The Gladius has four size three missile rack hardpoints and three size three gun hardpoints. For components, it uses one size one quantum drive, one size one power plant, two size one coolers, and two size one shield generators. These stats are identical in all three iterations of the Aegis Gladius. Now let's talk ordnance. On the wings, we have two Viper 3 size three missiles manufactured by Nova Pyrotechnica mounted on Marsden 313 missile racks. Eight Pioneer 1 size one missiles manufactured by Bering and mounted on Marsden 341 missile racks. Moving along, on the nose, we have one CF-337 Panther laser repeater, manufactured by Klaus and Warner. This is a size three weapon fixed mounted on a size three hardpoint. On each wing, we have one size three OmniSky 9 laser cannon, manufactured by Amon and Reese Company. This is a size three weapon fixed mounted on a size three hardpoint. Now to components. One Regulus power plant and two bracer coolers, manufactured by Aegis Dynamics. Two all-stop shield generators, manufactured by Gorgon Defender Industries. All these components are grade C military, and I strongly recommend upgrading them to military grade B or higher before taking this bird into combat. The Beacon Quantum Drive is provided by Waytech and is also a grade C military component. Now how you plan to use your Gladius, how far you plan to travel and things of that nature will really determine if changing the quantum drive in your ship is necessary. Here's the stock ordinance again. I want you to really look at the stats and even take a screenshot if necessary. Ask yourself, what does this look like in a combat scenario? 
Are you engaging a ship that moves faster than you or your ordnance? Are you making yourself vulnerable because your ship, ordnance, and components are in alignment with your fighting style? What is your fighting style? The fastest or tankiest ship and the best parts are of zero consequence if you don't know the strengths and weaknesses of yourself, the ship you're in, or the ship you're fighting. Arena Commander is a good place to start. You can try different ships, loadouts, and components. Free Flight will allow you time to learn the capability of your ship in space, and Van Duel or Pirate Swarm will offer enough of a challenge to increase your combat effectiveness and situational awareness if you put the time in. Remember this, as a new fighter pilot, all engagements don't have to end in a kill. Sometimes they can be learning experiences to help you get better. There is nothing wrong with disengaging if you're taking a beating. Keep in mind also that ships respond differently to different atmospheres where gravity comes into play. So make sure you find out how you and your ship will be affected before going into a combat situation. Now let's go down to the landing pad and check out some avionics. Aegis Combat Assist activated. Systems green. While you check out the available interaction items in the MFDs and cockpit, I'm getting some flight recordings together to leave you with. The first will be some race squad members showcasing the maneuverability and speed of the Gladius while chasing down a Drake Caterpillar and Atmo on Daymar. And the next will be me, Eleven, engaging NPC security forces and being third party by a player bounty hunter. I hope you enjoyed Race Squad's first ship briefing video. And if so, like, subscribe, and share. We'd love to hear your comments and critiques. If there's a ship you would like to see featured, let us know. On behalf of Race Squad, I'm Eleven, saying God bless, stay frosty, and we'll see you in the verse.
Thank you.